I'm gonna talk about making good money on Amazon, okay? Selling on Amazon, reselling, okay? I'm gonna define good money as $300 a day profit <clears throat> or more per day, every day, 365 days a year, okay? That's just my opinion, okay? Over that amount, okay? If you wanna make over that amount, you cannot go into stores, scan every day, go home, do shipping, and ship it out. It's just, it's unreasonable to do that, you know? It's just unreasonable, you know? To make that kind of money, you have to leverage your time, okay? And to leverage your time, you have to focus on replenishing your inventory. I mean, that that's just what you have to do. You're not just gonna go into TJ Maxx, scan things, buy those items, go home, ship them out. Next day, go to Walmart, scan things, buy those items, go home, ship them out, and do that every day and make that kind of money. It's just not gonna happen, you know? <clears throat> what you have to do is you have to scan items in the stores. You can go to the stores I listed. I've sold a lot of stuff from those stores. It's less about the store, okay? It's more about this concept I'm gonna tell you right here. You scan items, <clears throat> And you have to analyze what you're selling. Okay, so you've bought all this stuff. <clears throat> I do this all the time, several times a day. You look, I mean, in the last 12 months, I've sold 13,800, 680, 13,800 items, I think it is. It's so many items, okay? <clears throat> There's a lot of items to go through, okay? <clears throat> so, you've got to go through your items each day and got to look at these key factors, okay? What has sold that I bought, okay? Did I make a good profit on it? Well, what's a good profit? It's your opinion. My opinion, 20% or more. I, I, I just think, I think that's a good profit, okay? 20% or more, okay? Now, <clears throat> what are you going to do? You have to look at how long it took to sold, right? If it took two months, in my opinion, I look at profit margin by month, okay? This is how I do it. doesn't mean you have to do it this way. I'm just telling you what I do that works, that's successful. If you make 20% in a month, I think that's great. If it takes two months, you make 10%. If it takes four months, you do the math. It's 5%, okay? <clears throat> so... It's not just your profit margin, it's how long it takes to sell, okay? 50%, yeah, two or three months, not bad, okay? 100%, you got a lot more time. Okay, so now, what are you gonna do? You're gonna go through your items. When did you buy this? How long did it take to sell? And what was your profit margin, okay? I look at keep up, and I look at my profit margin, and I look at my sell-through rate of how long it's taking to sell. Okay, if you, in the beginning, you're probably gonna need to write this stuff down. You're gonna probably need to get a Google Sheet or Excel and write down, okay, this item on this date. Okay, it sold on this date. Okay, this was my profit. Okay, I mean, you, you got to. If you don't take the time to do that, you cannot maximize what I'm telling you about replenishes and you can't make the bigger money, okay? Now, once you, once you analyze this, here's the key point to maximize your replenishes that you have to analyze. <clears throat> How much can this platform of Amazon handle this item in a 30-day period? How much can this platform handle this item in a 30-day period? Meaning, how many of these items can I sell in 30 days? Now, it's not how many items are selling for this particular model in 30 days. It's how many can I sell in 30 days. That's different. Those are different things, okay? Too many people get pulled into, oh, uh, I'm gonna go to Jungle Scout. Oh, it says I can sell, you know, a thousand of these in a month. Great. No, a thousand are selling in a month. You're not selling a thousand. Then you have to go to the Amazon.com and you need a subscription to keep it to see this, you will see how much each buyer has, what their inventory quantity is, okay? <clears throat> and with that inventory quantity, you will be able to assess, okay, a thousand of these are selling in a 
month, this guy has 50, this guy has 200, this guy has, and figure out how many you can sell. And that's all gonna be discernment, analysis, market data, no perfect answer. But here is what is perfect. How many did you sell in the last 30 days, in the last two weeks, in the last week, in the last th three days, in the last day? How many you sold is 100%, okay? Keep uh, all this data that's available. It's not 100%, it's all algorithms. And Jungle Scout Estimator is an algorithm. It's not how many sold, it's an algorithm, okay? Keepa is not sold, it's listed. It's how many are listed, okay? How many sold isn't available? It's not available. That's proprietary information to Amazon. On eBay, eBay shares that, Amazon does not. But your solds is available to you. So you've gotta analyze your solds and understand that this is gold information. And I look at mine and I go, I bought this, okay, I sold it, it took this long. All right, I'm gonna get this many more. Oh, wow, I sold these in this time, I'm gonna get this many more. And I'm scaling up, I'm scaling up. And I'm getting more and more and more. And I'm going from, let me just try one to 200, two pallets, and piling it up, okay? Based on market data, discernment, all the things we talked about, and number one, my solds, how many I sold. I know how many I'm selling. That's not debatable. Everything else is discernment. If you look at this each day, I don't care if you have no money and you only bought one item, you should analyze this. Because the amount of time it will take you to replenish that one item is infinitesimal compared to how long it will take you to scan and find a new item. And so, I put my scanning time in, and I go and I scan and I spend hours, but I am not doing that every day. And I'm not even gonna do that every week. I am going to scan a store thorough. I scanned a Nike factory store that I'm going to right now. It took me three days to cover the men's shoes, okay? Three days. And that's only shoes with lids, not the ones that don't have lids. Three days, okay? Now, I didn't work the whole day. I probably spent two hours, hour and a half to two hours each time because that's as long as I want to go. I feel like I'm studying for final exams. So I do two hours, three days, okay? I am not doing that again. I am going to sell them and replenish. I'm driving right now to the factory store. I have a list I made and I have quantities I'm getting and I'm gonna walk in, I will be out in no time and I will have tons of profit and I'm gonna send that off today. And and that that is the key to scaling this thing up. You've gotta do that, I'm telling you. You have to do this to scale up. You go to Walmart, you pick an aisle and it might take you a few days and you scan the entire aisle and you buy stuff and you see how it's selling. And then you analyze your solds, your sell-through rate, your profit. If it doesn't work, go back to scanning. If it works, get as many as you can to sell through. Why do you not wanna take longer periods of time to sell these items? You can, I mean, listen, I have items that I have priced higher because I know the market value and other sellers are, have it low either because they need to sell quick or because they don't understand the market value. I don't know their reason, but I'm waiting because I know I can make a ton more if I wait. Some items I need to sell faster because there's just too many people on it and it's just not gonna sell. It's ridiculous. But overall, you should go off the market value that something is worth not what everyone else is doing. Market value will win out over time. Because look at the statistics, look at the graph, look at the listing prices. And over time, if you're patient, you can sell it at that price and that's where you should be. But I'm gonna tell you that if you wanna scale up, if you wanna make the bigger money, it's not scanning all the time. It's analyzing your souls, replenishing those, and getting those out. That's the key, I'm telling you. That's the key. I am not spending a lot of time running this business and scaling this business because I focus on replenishes and maximizing that money. That's how you can make a lot of money in a little bit of time. You put in the time and then you maximize your time with replenishes. Have a great day.